day one of the new team. Go on, must be pretty exciting for you. It is, I think it's like your first day at school. Uh, lots of new faces, lots of happy faces, uh, which is good and ready to get going. Have you already thought about why well, you've had this period between signing and then getting through to the team? What areas do you feel that may need to improve the Premiership Yes, um, in theory, but it's easier said than done. I, I want to have a look at the guys that are, I've currently got in the squad and on scholarship deals because I think I, I don't want to miss any player out that I think can help the football club. Obviously, we've uh, got a, a lot of wonderful young players here, so it's important I look at them as well uh, before I make some other signings. And there'll be target areas that I've identified, which I've let Gavin and John know about. And you know that takes time; it doesn't happen overnight. So uh, we are looking to strengthen, but I'm also looking forward to getting in amongst these boys as well. Uh, yes, uh, I think th there will be certain little characteristics within that that change based upon the, the personnel that we currently have on the roster. Um, the additions of maybe a couple more players will allow me to implement that a little bit easier or a little bit more. Um, but I won't go away from my fundamental beliefs of how I want the game to be played and how I want the style of football to be played. It is. I think the Spinier team is very important in any successful team. And, you know, three key players, three experienced players who, who done very well for the football club. So they're going to be three target areas that we need to address moving forward. But in the meantime, it gives the opportunity for some young players to step up. And, you know, Dylan and Bacchus and people like that, I need to actually grow more now. And I think they will when they're challenged. Uh, part of my job is to get to know the person as well as the player and then tap into the player's mind because you know it doesn't happen overnight it, it takes a little bit of time how you want them to be behave and how you want them to play um, but that's my job my job is to show and explain um, and work with them on a daily basis It's a really good question and a good point. Um, I don't know is the answer. Um, what I do know is that confidence does amazing things to players and to teams. And you know, part of my job when I went to Newcastle, and it'll be the same here, is to try and instill confidence and in belief. You know, if you get the the, the small details correct, then obviously the the bigger picture stuff becomes more evident. And you know, I'll, I'll start bit by bit, brick by brick. Um, but as we go along, there'll be challenging periods without a doubt, as I know. Um, but you've got to embrace them, you've got to enjoy them, you've got to meet the challenge straight head on um, and try and get better because we're here to get better every day. I have, yes, the football club's massive and you know there's, there's two ways of looking at it. You can say it's really big and be fearful of it or you can say it's massive and be want apart be part of something that you want to change, move forward and, and get back to the success of what they had previously. And I look at it as a challenge, I want to embrace the challenge. I've challenged the players and I will challenge the players to embrace that challenge because whatever football club you go to and you speak to players, they, they all want to say they want to be at big clubs. Uh, there's an opportunity here for players that are at a big club to embrace that. So why be fearful of it? Okay, all done.